absolute pleasure to tell you that this is an old issue same shit different day but it's happening to someone and they want to know why for those of us who are a little bit seasoned been there done that at least in your 20s or your 30s some might be going through it in their 40s or the 50s i don't know no judgment but let's get into it again my name is angela patareal and welcome to talk that talk with Diva Speaks Relationships. So, here we go, guys. Um, mm, mm, mm. That's all I can say. Mm, mm, mm. So, our poor soul wants to know, why would someone who cheated on you continue to stay in contact with the person they cheated with? Once again, the question that has been posed, okay, why would someone who cheated on you continue to stay in contact with the person that they cheated with? That is the question that was posed, and I'm going to do my best to answer it. The reason that they're continuing to stay in contact with the person that they cheated on you with is because they have no loyalty to you. You are not in a committed relationship with this person. This person is taking you and the relationship that you think that you guys have for granted. They don't value the relationship with you. It seems that the emphasis is on, is on the person that they um, have uh, been cheating with or continues to cheat with. And let me read the question again. You want to know why, the, why do they continue to stay in contact with that person is because you allow it. You allow the person, that person who cheated on you to remain in contact with the person they cheated with when you stay in that relationship with that person. The moment that you discovered the infidelity and the continued contact, a relationship, you should have walked away. You should have walked away. So I need you to take some accountability for where you are at in this stage of your relationship. You see, my friend, you don't have to question why does your partner continue to remain in contact with the person that they cheated with. No, you're asking the wrong question of the wrong party. You need to ask yourself, why do you remain in contact or in a relationship with a person who has cheated on you, stepped outside of the relationship, dipped into the lady parts, or sat on top of the man parts of somebody else and you continue to remain in a relationship with them and expect them to remain faithful to you when they have no indication of changing since you have found out that they're still in contact with that other person. You are in turmoil because number one, you found out that they've been unfaithful. Number two, you found out that the, pay, that the person that they were unfaithful with is still in their life. And number three, they refuse to sever the ties and or the communication. That would tell me that that relationship is more important to your significant other than the relationship with you. Because that person isn't will, willing to sever either tie with either person or they're committed to um, cultivating that relationship further. It's out in the open now. It's not a secret. Um, they aren't doing it behind your back. It, 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 it's not um, something that they have to go to um, great lengths to hide from you. So now you're, you're, you know that, okay, they've cheated, okay, and that person is still a part of their life. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? 
It's not about them. It's, it's about you at this point. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay and put up with the unfaithfulness and the disrespect? Are you going to do that? Are you really that invested and that in love with somebody else who is not being faithful to you or offered you um, monogamy that you're willing to subject yourself to being cheated on and that them flaunting this other relationship in front of your face? You have to want better for yourself. No one else can want that for you. But if that person decides that I'm going to keep this other person around and if you want to be a part of my life then you have to accept that then you're a fool if you stay don't ask yourself why they're staying in contact with that other person don't ask yourself that ask yourself why am I staying and why am I remaining in contact with this unfaithful person this unfaithful joker this un unfaithful um, piece of crap It's time for you to make some decisions for yourself. What you want to do with the relationship that you're in is your business. Okay. At the end of um, this video, I will suggest some resources for you. But it's time for you to decide what you want to do. Do you want to stay and put up with it? Because you may be, you may be the in. Uh, what did it? How did they say it? The in the meantime chick until the person that you're with finds the person that they really want to be with and if your dude has cheated on you with some some other woman and that dude refuses to sever ties or to stop the cheating that woman means a lot more to your man than you realize and you don't because your feelings are not being um, considered. This person is disrespecting you every time they reach out to that person or go and lay down with that person or spend time with that person. You are putting yourself through hell and it's very unnecessary. I would suggest you start getting therapy and work on your self-esteem and your confidence and find out your worth because you need to understand that in any relationship, you, you have to have a meeting of the minds. This is what we are committed to, do, committed to doing. These are the things that we agree not to do. These are the things that are unacceptable. And here are my deal breakers, each one of you. And at any time, if any of those things are in default, you have to act on what you said you were going to do if something were to happen. If you stay and allow yourself to be continued to be cheated on, you are you're being a volunteer, you're not a victim. This man and cheated on you and still in contact with this other woman. This man is carrying on a relationship with another woman in front of your face after you discovered that this man has been unfaithful to you. What are you going to do? Stop worrying about why is he still in contact with her? Why are you still in contact with him? You deserve better. And if you don't know that, I'm telling you that. You deserve better. Now, the alternative would be is you subscribe to the poly lifestyle that way all of you can have some fun if, if i don't know anything about that lifestyle but if you're gonna share your man and you're gonna stay with him i mean why not consider it if you're not gonna have any standards or boundaries for yourself um and enforce those boundaries then why not consider the poly lifestyle because you're not standing up for yourself you're gonna stay no matter what and you're going to always be playing victim because you know it's not behind your back anymore. Want better for yourself. Do better for yourself. At some point, you're going to have to realize that this is not a good relationship for you. This person is not a good fit. This person is not fit to be the man in your life. This person is not fit for you to continue to suffer <laughs> in a relationship with them when they clearly want to be with someone else or they don't want to be monogamous with you or remain faithful to you. And I just did, um, uh, you know, I just did a show talking about how foolish it is to remain faithful to an unfaithful partner. That's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard of. I don't condone cheating ever. But I do condone you walking away from something where you're being mistreated and you are being mistreated and you are being mishandled in that current relationship 
that sham of a, of a relationship that you are in. Guys, if you're just now tuning in, we had someone write in that wanted to know why would the person that they're in a relationship with who has been unfaithful continue to remain in contact with the person that they were cheating with. And so basically I've told the, uh, you know, the person that wrote in, you're asking the wrong question about the wrong party in that relationship. You should be asking yourself, why are you still in contact with this joker who has cheated on you, who is still in contact with the person that they were cheating with? Clearly the emphasis is on um, the relationship that he got caught cheating in, right? That relationship means more because he's not willing to let go of that relationship and he no longer cares if you know about it. So why are you asking why is he in contact with her? Why are you in contact with him? You got to want better for yourself. You got to stop playing victim. You got to understand when a person is not a good fit for you. You got to know when to walk away, when to excuse yourself from the table, when to walk out of a person's life. You don't have to make a, you don't have to make a fuss. You don't have to get upset. You just have to make a decision. Make a decision that I deserve better. I'm not going to stand for this foolishness and walk the hell away. Don't worry about what that man doing with that woman when you know that that man has cheated with that woman and he refuses to let her go. Let him go and go and be with the person that he's placing the emphasis on maintaining a relationship with. My name is Angela Patarayal and this has been another edition of Talk That Talk. But if you do decide to stay with this person that you are with, right? If you have a heart to heart and at some point the two of you discover you want to work on your relationship, I would suggest going on my website and purchasing um, both of my, both, you need both of my therapeutic card game for couples in a crisis. Um, surviving infidelity, surviving infidelity. You definitely want to, here it is, surviving infidelity. You definitely want to um, purchase this because it's going to give you um, some hardcore questions that you need the answers to. And trust me, with every card in this deck, it, it makes you stop and think and it allows that person to open up freely to you if they are interested in salvaging the relationship. The cards contain the questions for you who's been cheated on and the person who has cheated. Now, the illustration could be you as a couple that has been restored or your person that is actively involved or was in an affair, okay? Surviving infidelity, okay? Relationship therapy. Once again, surviving infidelity, relationship therapy, or you can purchase, okay, relationship therapy. Okay. This is what you probably need. Uh, in addition to surviving infidelity relationship therapy. This is what you two can grab a cocktail or two. Uh, when the two of you are ready to have some deep, meaningful conversations and the two of you are open to entertaining questions from one, for, uh, from one another, and this will help get you guys back on track. It's going to help get you together, okay? Because sometimes, you know, people can um, have their minds already made up. If you're trying to ask questions and have a conversation, it'll seem more of an interrogation versus a conversation. But when you got a deck of cards in front of you and you don't know which card you're pulling, they have no reason to oppose answering the question. Once again, especially if they are interested in salvaging and rebuilding the relationship with you. Okay? So you can find these two card game sets on my website, diva-speaks-official.com. And until the next time, my name is Angela Patarayal of Diva Speaks Relationships. The Diva has spoken. Toodles. Thank you.